you see my community post yesterday, disregard that. What was I thinking? December is the best month to get paid on YouTube. All the advertisers are advertising for Christmas, so that'd be stupid to take the month off. And I've got a lot of uh, reviews coming up. I've got a lot of work going on. So we're gonna postpone that till January, which is one of the worst months. I'll just probably take a couple weeks off. It, you know, you do this every day, it gets tiresome sometimes, but I mean, I enjoy it. Sometimes it's good just to wake up and you ain't gotta make a video. But anyway, let's, let me show you what I got done in here. Yeah, man. Got all the wall insulation up, cut, stapled. Yeah. That's just some foam that came uh, with the laser cutter. And I'll tell you what I did with it. I took that foam, instead of throwing it out, I put it up in here as a little extra insulation. See, why waste it? It's foam, one inch foam. And I got a few more pieces there of that. I'll use it somewhere. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do up here is, I'm not gonna have enough foam. I got one more piece and some scraps in there, but whatever I got, I'm just gonna run it up and down in squares. That way I don't have too many cuts just one angle cut at the top. And I took some of that foam and I covered up those vents. Uh, I really don't want to remove them or anything because I may need them later on. And I started putting the ceiling insulation up. Yep, that is the best way to do it. it gives me more headroom. If I got to turn a big piece of wood or something, I've got that extra six inches in there and it's gonna serve the same purpose, so. Those are eight foot sheets. I've got two feet there. I'll use scraps to fill that in, but it's coming along. We are almost all the way insulated. I just got to do this side and finish up the rest of the ceiling. So I've got four more pieces here to do. So that's where we're at. And I still, <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna turn that screen patio into the laser shop. And here's a few reasons why, I mean, I've got constant power there i don't have to worry about using these boxes but that's what's going to be power in this building and i got a camera that points right on the laser from my security system which some of these things that you put on the laser take forever so you don't want to be standing there looking at it the whole time so i can go in my office do whatever i can zoom in look at the laser on the camera and the program does have uh, where you can hook a webcam to it and watch it but i don't need to with that so for now, we'll just leave it in there. Uh, it needs to be somewhere. Uh, if I have it out here and I have a job running, I have no way to keep keep an eye on it. So until I get this finished out, who knows what this will be. It's just probably a big tool room. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to get back to uh, cutting these sheets. Now, all you do, I found the best way to cut these is not the bread knife like I was using. You get one of these, and you go at an angle. On your line, you go at an angle and you just saw and it does a nice clean cut on it uh, so that just these cheap little utility knives are the best tool to use all right let me get busy all right i got this measured out i got my big level all right now i'm just going to cut at an angle. I cannot break this blade. It's the last one. Hey, now. Nice and easy. It's like cutting hot butter. The sun's in my eyes. And this don't help. For some reason, cutting at the angle like that helps. It helps when you're putting it in, too. It has that bubble. Look, man, I don't want you bouncing like that, all right? All right, now, I'm right, gonna do this half. That's probably blinding you guys, ain't it? Got my cozy pants on today. 
I am pretty sore from doing that insulation yesterday. That mattress in there helped a lot. I laid on that, did the bottoms, no troubles. All right, don't break. That's the best way to do that stuff. And you just drop it on the ground right there. Get the dingleberries off. Really smart doing them in my garden. All right, let's throw this dude up here. Same time. Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh. Look, dude. I'm bigger than you. I certainly weigh more than you. I don't want no beef. There we go. Get on in there. I measured these roofing trusses. They are not, that one goes from 23 inches to 22 and a quarter. So yeah, they're not, uh, they're not square. All right, this one's the tightest one yet. Let me turn this ladder around, work my way a lot of way. I gotta have it straight. All right. Yeah, that thing's really. There we go. Yeah. Uh, looks too big, man. They got this one all jacked up too. Or do they? Oh, there we go. Like I said, if it ain't straight with the angle. It's tough getting them in there. That was the problem. All right, let's work my way down. I got Dingleberry City all over me. The little Dingleberries. All right. I don't want to have to take this down and trim it. But I'm going to have to, I think. Yeah, you know, it's got to have a little bit off of it. I don't want to fight it. All right, I'll be back. All right, gave it a trim. And all I'm doing is securing these. I mean, they're, they're pretty tight fitting. I'm just taking some screws, putting them in there to hold them. I don't want this to be permanent in case there's something I want to do something later. Yes, you can use glue, but not all glues work. You got to get a certain kind of glue that won't eat it up. This is fine. Ain't going nowhere. And when that happens, they got a nail they shot through. They didn't get it in the right spot. I'm encountering a lot of that. They built this thing pretty well. But they got sloppy on the roof. Yeah, I trimmed about a quarter inch off of it. Not even that. It fits in there fine now. All right, let me get this shoved up in here. See the nails that's popping through. All right, ain't the prettiest, but it'll work. Let me trim that broken piece off. 
just a shop, man. It's just a shop. It ain't got to be home, home warm. It's already warm as heck in here, and it's about 55 degrees. All right, let me get a couple of screws. These are old screws I pulled out of something else. And two more in there, and we're good. Ain't going nowhere, no how. Oh, it's my left shoulder hurting. <laughs> Gotta just work through it. Let me swing my ladder. do si do Where she goes, ain't nobody knows. Yeah, I just took that mattress and I laid it on the floor and I just kind of rolled around on that dude. Made it cozy doing them bottoms. Oh, come on. All right, that piece is in. We got one more sheet. So that'll get one, two. I think I'm going to wait till I get some... Get You guys quit looking up there. I'm going to wait till I get some full pieces to finish the, the roof, and I'll just take my scrap pieces and do that. That's kind of a weird thing up there. It's not your standard uh, wall, but we'll get it. All righty. All right, I got them last two pieces up here. So all we got left is this side, and then there's one over there, and these little two foot pieces. And I'm gonna wait till I looked in the shed. There's a, and everything's got rough edges and nothing square. And I'm and my knife is so dull. So I need to pick up some more of them. And that'll give me another day or so to think about what I want to do here. That's kind of a strange area, but man, and I did get one piece there. So there'll be a, more here and then on the other door. So man, is it already warm in here? I can tell you. So all the walls are done. I ended up with two extra pieces of insulation left over. And I'm sure I can pile them in somewhere. I don't know. They, they're 16. It, they, don't, they wouldn't look good up there because there's actually a little ledge here. Y'all can see. So... I'll get that tomorrow. Well, actually Tuesday. I got to go uh, to the VA doctor for an exam and there's a Lowe's right by there. I think Jeff needs to pick up some stuff, two by fours or whatever. I got to pick up two by fours. I really got to get a ramp built because this is getting dangerous, but that little stool's come in handy and it was even wet yesterday when I was coming out, but them little round deals on there keep you from slipping. So... I do got to get a ramp built. Building stairs with the angle of, the, of this thing would be would be a feat, and I, a ramp is better. But it's probably going to come out to here. That's fine. But as you can see, how much higher it is there. And I'm not going to worry about insulating the floor. Like I said, this is a shop, man. It doesn't need to be doesn't need to be airtight. Although it's going to be pretty warm as it is. All right, let's move on to something else. What are you two up to? I don't know. Looks like somebody's up to something. What are you doing, gnarly face? Where's brother? He's in there laying down. It's a beautiful day. I don't know. Now Tilly, she keeps going over there because she gets lonely. Millie's been gone about seven days now. I think she's, she came back a few months ago and I put her supper out here. But I think she went back over there. She's one of them dogs that's got to have a friend. Uh, she hasn't been back. She'll be back. If that's as far as she ever goes, though, she doesn't go any further than that. All right. And let's go check. Well, I can't go in that door. <laughs> I gotta get a regular door put on that thing. All right, guys, that's probably all I'm gonna do for today. Uh, let me see if I can. He hurt his other leg, his back leg, jumping up and down. Come here, Waldo. 
but it ain't too bad. See if I can get him to come out. There he is. Why did you? Yeah, you're walking on it okay. I just got you out of the doctor. Yeah, look at your paw. It looks a lot better. And that'll go down. He's he's still got antibiotics he's taking. He's done with the other stuff. It's a nice day. You need to be outside. Yeah? You big whiner. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Happy trails.